Ronnie Olson, coach of the Shady Springs Tigers. Ronnie, obviously tonight the Independence came in and gave you a pretty good run there for three yep. quarters. You were able to split it out late. Uh, talk about how uh, their, their play for the first three quarters and what you had to do to get over that hump. Um, and they, they came in, uh, you know, game plan of, you know, everybody in the paint not giving up penetration. And uh, we struggled to shoot the ball in the first half and we struggled to score the ball. I mean, guard the ball and they just kind of blew by us and we gave up 40 in the first half. So um, uh, they did a good job first half of, uh, you know, they had a good defensive game plan. Um, I thought that, uh, you know, I feel that it doesn't matter what defense you play on us. I feel like we should be able to score. Um, we missed a lot of open shots and we gave up a lot on the defensive end. And you could see a lackluster half. We we're on our way to 80 and, uh, and it was a lot different in the second half. I think you're the kind of guy that takes scoring, other teams scoring as yep. a personal front because of the, uh, what you put on the defense. Yep. Is that correct yeah. estimation? Yeah, we, you know, I, I take it personal because we spend so much time in practice. There's no reason for us to be that bad first half defensively. Um, when we, that's all we've done. We have been off for eight days, and that's all we've done is work on our half court defense. And it didn't show. It showed in the second half, but it didn't show in the first half. Um, they just bl they blew right by us. Um, they got some good players. You know, they can play. Uh, they can shoot it. They can they can drive. And they wanted a little more than us in the first half. Uh, but ultimately, uh, you know, we, we you know we were able to make shots. I mean, defense was great. Lights out in the second half. Five points in the fourth quarter. Fifteen in the third. And uh, you know that that that's where we decided at half. You know, we're not going to give up 80 points. We're going to you know step it up on the defensive end, and uh, then our shots start falling. And it's 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 tough to play us when we're, when we're playing like that. You hadn't played since uh, a week Saturday, yep. and that, so there's nine days between games. Do you think that kind of had an effect on what you did in the first half? You know, I, I thought about that, but um, it shouldn't at home. It shouldn't at home. You know. Uh, I thought we were still on our way to put up 70, 80 points. I'm like, we still did, you know. I, I just, I just think we weren't mentally ready to uh, come out and play defense in the show. I don't know if it was a 6:30 start. I think maybe they took Independence too lightly, and Independence came in to their to their credit and uh, wanted a little more than us in the first two quarters. And uh, uh, we decided that we were going to take that personal and uh, play a little harder in the second half. And uh, the outcome was, uh, a, a, you know, a big spurt there in the second half and started uh, uh, winning the game there. You had not played last week yep. uh, voluntarily, and uh, you won't play and get until the sectionals next week. Talk about that decision, and was it hard for you to take the games away from the kids, well, or what was it based on? Yeah, it was a very hard decision. It was a decision that I didn't make ultimately just on my own. I talked to my team about it. I talked to some of the parents about it, uh, my coaching staff. Um, and, and, you know, ultimately it's to keep our players safe and, and get them to the postseason because they've earned that. And I remember sitting here about this time last year uh, um, and telling us that it was shut down. So, you know, my job as a head coach is, is to be leader of men and obviously, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, win some ball games along the road. And I felt like keeping the guys safe, uh, not having them, you know, put hard work and effort into this two, two months here and then being done because we've been contact traced by another team. So with the numbers so high, I felt like it was a good decision. I talked to our administration, our AD, and uh, um, a lot of teams are doing around the, the, the you know, the state. And uh, we're just ready for Monday uh, for section. So we're ready to go. So um, now it's eye on the prize and uh, go to Charleston is our, next, is our our only goal. It was Todd Duncan senior night. I know that's why you played this game yeah. tonight uh, for him. Talk about him and the you know, contributions he's made. I mean, he was kind of lost in the numbers yeah. last year, but really been a, he's been a key part of what you're doing. Yeah, we owed that to him tonight to give him a senior night, you know, and it was an in-county game. But Todd, uh, Todd has been, um, you know, the epitome of someone that has uh, sat and waited their time. There's not many, there's not many players that will sit three years and put up big points on an, in a JV game and uh, wait their senior year, and, and it's shown. He, he, you know, he put up all kinds of points on JV for three years, sat the bench, sat the bench, wanted to play, wanted to play. And um, here he is, you know, making a case for all, you know, all state at, at our guard position on one of the best AAA teams in the state. And he means the world to us on both ends of the floor. And I, I couldn't be more proud of him as a player, but as a young man, uh, who he's turned into and how he's excelled uh, in our program and off the, uh, obviously on the golf course. But I'm proud of him. And it was good to see him get his recognition tonight and senior night as well. Well, it was a little bittersweet. Him go. I mean, yeah, I, I, him and I have a special relationship. You know, we're close off the court as well. Um, you know, we talk. Um, I, I, you know, I, I try to have a relationship with with our players just beyond basketball. But um, Todd, you know, Todd and I have a special relationship, and I love him to death. And I, I know he feels the same way. So um, it, it's bittersweet. But um, I think the most bitter way to end the season would be uh, to go up, uh, go up 77, and uh, hit that Civic Center in Charleston up, and, and have a chance to make a run at a state title this year. 
Do you, if you play golf with Todd, how many shots would he have to spot you? Um, for you to be close. Shoo. Well, if, if I, 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 I probably get in Todd's head a little bit, uh, like I do in practice, maybe make him run a couple <laughs> uh, suicides up and forth to the green. I might wear him out there and uh, maybe get him. But uh, no, he, he's a great golfer. Uh, he knows I love golf, and that's something we have in common as well. So, uh, um, no, uh, he probably dust the floor with me like I would him on the basketball floor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you, you you're still saying you could right now? Uh, probably, yeah. <laughs> I thought you couldn't even beat your son. Now. He's coming up. He's an up-and-comer, is he not? Yeah, he is. He is. He but is. You, you got the section next week. You'll be back over at the Armory. Um, shots, the deuce. It's weird over at the Armory. Sometimes, you know, some of your best players struggle there. Yeah. At times, are you are you happy that it's back over the Armory? I, I think you mm -hmm. were you and Sean Jenkins were pushing for that. Yeah, we were. I, I think that's to our advantage. You know, me personally, I feel like Coach Jenkins probably feels the same way. But me personally, uh, I feel like that's to our advantage. A big floor, wide open. Um, we like to push the push the tempo. Uh, you know, we like to get up and down the floor. We like to spread it out, um, uh, which Independence does as well. But um, does it help you defensively as well? I, I, I think it does. You know, I think it does. Um, so, um, you know, we, we'll see. We like it out there, and I think it, it I think it brings the best out in teams that are ready to play. And we've had an advantage this year. We played a couple games out there. Um, so I think the boys are ready to go, and we are so ready for Monday to come. All right, Ronnie, I appreciate Thanks. it. Thanks a lot.